Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plans with Amanda. In this video, we're gonna be decorating a couple of special pages. I wanna do a Black Friday shopping tracker and a Thanksgiving menu tracker. So I've got pages here from Live Love Posh. They're the dot grid. I have already created a fall bucket list on one page using the new Chic Fall sticker book from Live Love Posh. And then on the um, the other page, uh, the other side, and I added another page, I wanna create a Black Friday shopping tracker for this two page spread here. And then on the back side, I'm gonna do a Thanksgiving menu tracker. Um, we've got several places we're gonna be going for Thanksgiving throughout the week, just different you know things at church and then family. And so I'm gonna make a tracker for things that I'm making at each place because it's added up to be quite a bit of things. So the Black Friday shopping tracker is just gonna be kind of what it sounds like. I wanna make like a place for each of the stores that I wanna go to and things that I wanna look for. And then also I want it to be pretty. So we're gonna be using stickers from uh, Live Love Posh Whimsical Fall for the Black Friday shopper, or excuse me, <laughs> Black Friday shopping tracker. Um, there's some really cute Black Friday stickers in here that I did not use last year. This sticker book came out last fall. I don't know if it's still available. Live Love Posh is having a big sale right now if it's still going on when this video airs. Um, it, I, they're gonna be linked down below. You can check that out. It's my affiliate link. Amanda 10 will save you 10% on anything that's not on sale, but a lot of things may still be on sale. <clears throat> but anyway, if it's available, check the website and just to see. Um, but I'm gonna be using these stickers here to make my little Black Friday shopping tracker. I'm gonna pull black boxes in from Mojo Jojo Plans for that. And then for the Thanksgiving menu spread, um, I'm gonna use Fall Icons Volume 2 by Kelly of a Plan. She's got really cute, Thanksgiving Day like meal stickers in here and boxes and everything that I'm going to pull together to maybe make a place for me to put everything that I need to um, do to prepare for things coming up for Thanksgiving. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I think I'll do the Black Friday shopping tracker first. Uh, I'm going to start with flowers. Definitely want to start there. I've got this really big floral sticker here. Actually, I've got two of them because I've got two pages of each one, but then we've also got some corner stickers. We'll put this over here. Okay, and then I guess I'll take uh, corner stickers next and go ahead and maybe put some of those in. And then I do have letter stickers also coming in from Plenty Thing. Um, she just released the sticker book. As a matter of fact, it hasn't released yet as of the time I'm filming this because I, I just did the flip through video, but um, Plenty Thing is releasing a fun alphabet sticker book. If I'll have the full flip through linked below for you guys. It's a 60 page sticker book, um, but I also wanna pull in the letter stickers to do like the Black Friday shopping over here or um, you know, something along that those lines. So I'm gonna hold, I've got that off to the side as well. I'm gonna bring this big sticker in down here across the bottom. Do you guys Black Friday shop? I have been a Black Friday shopper for many years. Um, I really actually enjoy it. I like the hustle and the bustle and I like the, you know, trying to, you know, get the sales and things like that. Um, it's not like it used to be. I think that um, stores, to me, I, they just don't run as good as sales as they used to. I don't know if it's, I don't know why. They just seem different. Um, but I still enjoy it and definitely got to do the Christmas shopping anyway. So, might as well make a cute page to plan it all out. <laughs> 
All right, let's go in with some boxes and our Black Friday across the top. So for the Black Friday, I wasn't sure yet which stickers I wanted to use. Definitely something from the black. We've got this font here. And let's see. So that would actually be really cute, but I also have this, which is also really pretty. And then I have, I've got that, but I don't think that really goes because it's got the florals in and I've got flowers on the page. So I think I'm gonna stick uh, with one of the other ones. And then this one. Let's try this one. Or this one, I don't know. Yeah, let's try this one. So for uh, doing letter stickers, putting them down straight, I use a little ruler trick. And if you take the letters and kind of just line them up on your ruler, and then you can use that to kind of put them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these lined up on my ruler. So another thing I need to think about is where do I want them to kind of come in at? Um, I think if I, I think I might could fit Friday there and then I could do shopping underneath. Okay, so that's Black Friday. Oh, that's so cute. I love that font. That's a really pretty font. Okay, let's see if we can get it straight. Um, I think I'll start with that. Is that pretty straight? I think it's okay. We can adjust if we need to. And that yanked my A off of there, but that's okay too. That sticker book's falling everywhere. Okay, we'll just let that do its thing. <laughs> Is it straight? Let's see. Um, it's a little bit crooked because I can see that the bottom of this is kind of going down just a little bit. So I think I'm gonna straight try to straighten it up, and then since this one's really straight, I'm gonna straighten up this one. Oh, that's tearing. Oh dear. I think actually those two are okay. We're gonna bring these two these letters down just a little bit. I think that'll help it to look straighter. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now let's do shopping. Do we wanna do the same font or do I wanna find something else? I don't think any of the colored ones would match this spread. So I think we're gonna stick with the same one. So cute, okay. So then, do we want to bring this over? Center, Ooh, I don't want that S to stick down just yet. I think I like it like that because if I center it, these two big letters are very close to each other. So if I kind of bring this one across, I think that would work. Now, so what I didn't do when I put down the Black Friday, I didn't push my letters down, and that's why my A came off, so that helped a lot. Okay, so cute. Okay, that's good. I know there's a couple letters a little crooked, but I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, so that is Fun Alphabet with Plenty Thing releasing November the 21st at 10 a.m. If, if it's not out yet, I'm not sure when this video is gonna post in comparison to this one. So either way, I'll have the flip through linked below um, that will be available by the time this video comes out. Oh, Amanda 10 will save you 10% with plenty thing. Okay, let's go to boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans, black boxes, it's the original. I'm trying to use up some of my box sticker books. I'm gonna use these with the lines on it, I think that's gonna help I mean, I can feel, you know, I'm gonna be writing on them anyway, so 
think that'll be okay. And I'm actually, I don't really have a plan for how to put these boxes down, but, so let's go ahead and just kind of start putting some down. I'll probably use these little ones to kind of put up, like maybe to put the store name. Kind of like it in the center. long box sticker here too. Like I said, I haven't really thought this layout out very well. Um, that's okay though. I'm not really, I mean, I don't have any certain number of boxes that I want to fit on the page. So either way, it's going to be fine. I think I do want one more of these on here. I think maybe we'll bring it in up here. I don't like how that is gonna come up into my S, so maybe I need to bring this box down just a little bit. Oh dear. Okay, it tore the page just a little bit, but I think it's gonna be fine. All right, let's just bring that down just a little bit. Okay, that still looks cute. I like that a lot actually. So now we need to figure out what we're doing up here. Um, the other thing we need to do is before we pull in more boxes, I wanna pull in more decorative stickers. We've got plenty that we can use here. Okay, so one thing I really like about this sticker book, it's got this little coffee in the wallet here and I wanna pull that in. Put that there. And then I think we need some more flowers somewhere over here. Maybe we can put some right up here. another little um, box sticker up here to label this one. Just kind of like that. There we go. And then let's do a couple of just the regular vertical boxes. and then some smaller boxes here. Because there may be some places that you go for just, you know, one or two things. <clears throat> Whoop. Okay, just trying to see how I wanna lay these out. I think I kind of, I like, Maybe like that. Okay, all right, that is really cute. I'm gonna stick with that on the boxes. Um, definitely wanna bring in something else up here. And we didn't put a girl on the page. Do we wanna do that? I don't know. Let's keep shopping bag. We have it over here, but that's, I think it's okay that we have it more than one place.
All right, so I'm gonna put the little packages here, but I'm gonna cut the cut the edge just a little bit. Okay. And then maybe bring the bag in, maybe right down here. Okay. Need a little something here. This is cute here, but I'm gonna raise up my box sticker and kind of layer it just with that. Okay, got the little perfumes. And here's another coffee. I'm gonna cut the bottom of the coffee off and layer it with this box too. pull these flowers in down at the bottom, but I'm going to cut this end off. So I'm going to bring these in right down here. Yeah, I like that. Um, so we need a little something here. Maybe we do need one of the girls. Yeah, I like that. Cute. Maybe we need another girl over here. Whoops, I'm tearing up my page. Well. Okay, let's see. Now, I don't like both of them kind of like cuz they're on they're too um they're too in line with each other. Oh my gosh, you guys. Well, she's staying there. <laughs> I was going to try to move her up somewhere, but I think I'm going to leave her alone. Okay. Um, yeah, I like, I like it. I think it's so cute. So I think I'm done with the Black Friday shopping tracker. I'll have like a place for each store or some notes or whatever or times, but, um, it's really cute. So that is with Whimsical Fall, Live Love Posh, and Mojo Jojo Plans Black Boxes. And also, don't forget, we used Plenty Thing Fun Alphabet for our lettering. So I really love how it turned out. Um, let's flip this page over for um, our Thanksgiving tracker, or Thanksgiving menu tracker, or something. I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Um, so we've got all these stickers here we've got. Uh, this big one here. I think though I need to figure out how many boxes I need for this one though because we've got, um, I need to take, we're going to be taking food to church twice and to family. So uh, the church, we've got a Sunday lunch with everyone just to bring food or whatever and then um, on Tuesday night before Thanksgiving, we've got Friendsgiving with our little uh, kids at church, with all our, well, all of our kids at church, rather. And um, we'll be having Thanksgiving meal then, too, and then also fa Thanksgiving with family. So I think I will do, um, I, th I could make this for a shopping list. I could use this for a shopping list. And then, I don't know where I'm putting it down, but now that it's sticking, oh my gosh, y'all, what in the world? Okay. I'm 
trying not to tear the page worse. Okay, there we go. I was trying to figure out if I want to put it down here or over here. And I think I do want it over here, but it wasn't straight, so I'm glad I pulled it back up. All right, let's see if we can get this. This is a long sticker. Oh my gosh, and it's sticking together. Uh, we can tell how this one's gonna go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's try this one more time. Like you really get one shot with this unless you wanna pull out the undo and all that mess. Nobody wants to do all that. Okay, at least I used to, like I would pull that undo out so fast and now I'm just like, nope, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> okay, that's kinda of cool. I like that that's a really tall box. We're gonna use that for our shopping list and I don't think there's like a shopping sticker, but I do have one, I believe in here. Yeah, it's not, well, yeah, I do have groceries. I'm gonna use that. It's one I've cut myself um, using my Cricut, so. We're gonna put groceries on that little banner. Oh my gosh, look at that. How cute is that? <laughs> that fit perfect, you guys. Ah, that makes me happy. Okay, let's keep going. I'm thinking I wanna use this big sticker because I don't think I'm gonna have to have a whole lot of room for boxes. Um, probably just like maybe three or four more boxes. Maybe I need to pick out my boxes first. Let's, let's do that. I'll use some wax paper. And I guess I'll just use these ones because they're the plain boxes. That's what I want. Okay. And I think I'll just use all the colors. So we got the brown, the cream, green, and then we have a dark orange and a light orange. If we need another one, we'll just use the other orange. I don't think I'm going to need another one, actually, because I only need probably one for each of the church events and then two for family. So... Trying to figure out which ones I want to use together. I think I'll do the these two for family and then I'll use these two for the well like this I think actually these two for family and then these two for the church because I didn't want the church um, I want them up here because they're they're before Thanksgiving and then Thanksgiving is down here I think I'll do that and then for the family one I'll do like a a layer layer both of these together and then for the church ones oh I didn't leave room for my big sticker shucks okay we're gonna get that undo out because I think these are gonna tear this page so I don't want to I don't want to tear it up I just get undo from Amazon not everybody can buy it I think if you're in California you can't buy it it's a different version maybe I'm not sure, um, but it doesn't tear up your page or anything. It's just kind of messy. It's not really messy. It dries, it evaporates really quickly. It kind of smells like lighter fluid. I don't know, it's probably not very safe, huh? <laughs> don't light any matches around it. All right, so then it dries really fast. It just kind of evaporates. And if you blow it, it helps, it dries even faster. All right, so one thing I do know is once you use undo, if you don't let those dry really good, then they're gonna be super sticky. So we're gonna wait and hold on to those. I am gonna go ahead and pull this big sticker out because I wanna use it down here at the bottom. And I, I'm probably, I'm just gonna center it between what's available here. I was thinking maybe across the page, but I think I'll just kind of center it down here. Like that and kind of let it come off the page. Let's kind of stick 
stick into my scissors there. I don't want that because I want to try to save the sticker. Let's go from this angle. Now we can kind of figure out where we want our boxes. I still want to do the layer. I think I'll do family, like I said, family down here. And we'll layer it with this one. And then the other thing I need to think about is a title page. Um, or not a title page, a title. I don't want the... So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here. Well, before I do that, I, I know I'm back and forth, you guys, and I'm sorry, but before I do that, I wanna put some boxes in to kind of name what these are. So like, um, for this one, we're gonna say, you know, put family above it or something. Like that. And then for these, I'll use these uh, small boxes here. We'll put the brown one next to the green. And then the green, you know, on this side of the brown. And then we'll use the cream color one for the green. And then the orange on the brown. Okay, and then on as far as labeling the, um, you know, I'll just probably call it like, you know, uh, it's not much room to write, but this one would be like Friendsgiving and then, you know, fellowship because it's like Thanksgiving fellowships was called with the whole church and then this will be family. And then I think what I want to do up here is put like the word Thanksgiving or something. And I've got a brand new sticker book from, well, we just used it in the same video. I just, for, we're, we're doing this all at one time, aren't we? So we could pull in stickers from Plenty Thing Fun Alphabet again, but I don't know which ones. I like these, but I don't know if those will fit across. That's Thanksgiving's a pretty long word. It could work with this one, but the style's not quite what I want for these stickers. Mm, this one might would work. But again, it's gonna be kind of long. Maybe, let me just try it and see. Worst case, we can put the stickers back. And I'm gonna use the Curly Q Thanksgiving, or T, I mean. <laughs> okay, that's really cute. Let's, I hope it works, okay. We use the simple H because we've got the Curly Q T. That's really cool. I love how she intermixed all the different uh, styles as well as the fonts. This kind of gives you the option to make it look how you want it to look. the K with the curly Q on top. I'm trying to see if it's gonna fit. I think it's gonna fit. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can make it work.
So I had these pages planned out before Amber contacted me about um, helping her to promote her new sticker book. Um, and so I didn't think about having this book when I had these pages already planned out. And, but it's worked out really, really nicely. I'm excited that it's, uh, it came at this time because it fit these two pages perfectly. So, all right, we're almost there. Um, I think I'll do the curly cue on the bottom of the end. I don't have anything on the bottom except for the G, which I have a G coming up. So I don't know, we might switch this out, but I'm gonna try and see. Cause there's a different in here we could use but I kind of like that one too because it matches the K let's just see what it looks like with the G I think it'll be fine oh no it's a little bit crowded okay let's see what we got oh wait there's another plane okay wait 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 so I'm gonna put this in back I'm gonna switch the two ends because this end can have the curly cue coming down, whereas this one's plain. Let me see if you can see the difference. So like you have two different styles. So I'm gonna put this one here, this one over here, and then this can come down here. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, so let me see. I think I've got some letters crooked. So this is where you'd wanna kind of straighten them up. I think my, I was going okay until I got to the G. If you can hear my dog snoring She's taking her Saturday morning nap. That's when we're filming. <laughs> That's when I do most of my filming is on Saturday mornings. It's I usually have the house to myself. My husband plays golf. And so I like to film when I'm here by myself. I don't know why. Um, our house is kind of small. And I feel like that if people are at home, I just they just hear me and it's, I don't know, it's just weird, but. I mean, I can film when I'm not home by myself, but I like be I like it better when I am. Okay, I think that I've got it. Let's see if we can, uh, ooh, that's kind of big. Oh my goodness. What if we, um, okay, let's see. What if we bring these boxes up and then put this kind of in the middle? Or I could bring this box I could cut this box down and make it a little bit shorter, which actually, let's do that. I'm just gonna undo the top part of it. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry before I decide on what I wanna do. I'm gonna also move this box down uh, because it, if I put this here, that's going to run into that box. And so we're going to shift this also. Okay, so I'm gonna let those dry for a minute. While that's drying, let's go ahead and work on this. So, whoops, I stuck it down again. Okay, um, so if I want, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put my letters down. That's what I need to do first. Cause I think now that I've got this raised up, I'm gonna just center it. Um, let's see. The trick to doing this is you have to keep your ruler straight. Like when you raise it up, um, if you if you let your ruler slide, it's gonna it's gonna um, be crooked, more crooked than if you already have it crooked. Let's try this and see what it looks like. Hopefully, it's pretty straight, and I don't have to redo it. 
this is a little bit I gotta I gotta do something with that because I don't want those to run into each other I don't think I may have to switch this out for the um, plain in but maybe not we'll see oh no that's I think it's gonna be fine we're gonna bring the end down just a little bit and I think I want to bring the K up just a little bit there we go that's really cute you guys I love that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna cut I'm trying to think who I okay so usually if I cut a box um, I would cut at the bottom like I, if I was gonna cut this before I put it down I would have cut the bottom off and then I would have um, shifted it so that this is seamless I think what I want to do is go ahead and take it all the way off and then that way I can make it it won't be cut at the top up here next to my decoration and my um, so we are really using the undo today I know I complained about it at the beginning of the video but I'm glad to have it now. <laughs> I'm almost out of this bottle, but I do have another bottle that I bought a while back that I still, that I have ready. So, all right, so we're gonna let this dry. While that's drying, we can go ahead and put down this box. move it over just a little bit because I don't want my two boxes to run together okay all right so now let's go ahead and put this where we want it And using dot, oops, I got that too high. Um, but what I was gonna say is using dot grid paper makes these kind of kinds of spreads so much easier um, because you could almost I can't ever get them the boxes straight if I'm using plain paper. So dot grid is uh, well. Look at me, you guys. I'm just talking and not paying attention, and I am trying to make a mess again still fairly okay let's do let's do this one more time all right so I got it down under my G over into the away from the punches okay so now I can take and cut the bottom let's do right about there and I usually would like this to be under that. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna put this down as straight as we can and hope that that lines up correctly. Oh, look at that. Look at that, perfect. We're not gonna change anything about that. <laughs> we're gonna let that sit there. Um, all right. It's a little bit lower than I wanted it, but that's okay. We're not, we're not, we're not changing it. This is so cute. I'm not done yet though. I feel like I want to do something else. Um, cause we got more decorative stickers and all I did was this one. And I feel like that we could put more uh, stickers on there. Um, there's pumpkins. There's give thanks, which I didn't leave room for. <laughs> oh my goodness let's do some pumpkins let's do these smaller ones we'll put those up here All 
right, we're gonna fill in with this white in the corner, white pumpkin in the corner, because I could have done this, but it's too big to fit all the colors on there like that. And so now I can take the extras and kind of fill in with them and they're smaller. So I can fit them into some tighter places. So let's see, yeah, I like that. So now we've got these little extra pieces. Okay, that's cute. Like the little silverware maybe here okay I don't want to cut I want something up here but I don't want to like cut that off maybe um, uh, maybe something with the food or something maybe let's see we've got a lot of plates and stuff here actually I'm gonna switch this out for the the bigger silverware All right, so I've got the bigger silverware and I'm gonna actually bring it down a little bit and put it in right there, put it in right there. I can't even talk today. Okay, I think I'm close to being done. Um, the only thing I would like to do, I would like something maybe over here. And if I have to put something on white sticker paper, I can. I feel like that'd be cute and it would kind of bring that artwork over a little bit. Um, let me do that. I'm going to put this on white sticker paper. I just use full sheet sticker paper. I got it off of Amazon. Um, the other thing that you can do that um, helps to make it look better is to use like a bone folder and to scrape it down onto the white sticker paper otherwise you kind of see some air bubbles but you can do this on your regular stickers too like on your stick on your planner spreads and it helps it to look a lot better especially letter letter stickers it helps them to kind of look more like they're printed on the page if you don't tear up the sticker like i just did Anyway, you have to be careful. <laughs> Try not to rough up the edges of the stickers. And then you can kind of do that with all of your clear stickers. I don't know, it just helps it to look a little nicer and like it's more printed on the page. I don't know if you really can even tell on camera very much, but I've seen others do it and I can usually tell a difference. So let me know in the comments if you can. Um, but anyway, on this, we just cut it, um, cut around it. And I just follow along the edge of the sticker. And you just peel the backing away. Sometimes it's not as easy. There we go. And now you have a paper sticker that you can't see through. I think I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit to kind of come it off the page and into the punch just a little bit. And then trim it. And then let's go ahead and punch it. Yeah, I like that. Very cute. I think the only other thing I'd want to do is bring some items up into the punches, like maybe some of the, the dishes of food. I 
actually let me cut these off and I can maybe use some of the scraps too. Let's bring the other side of the green beans in right here and then the little pie can come down here and then I'm going to bring in a little bit of cranberry sauce and gravy like right there and I'm going to cut this great cut the gravy I'm gonna cut it a little bit more because I didn't didn't cut it um, off enough to be able to fit that handle down there. There we go. And then we can bring then the other little bitty tiny scrap of gravy down here. Okay, so that didn't I mean I didn't have to do that. I just thought it would look cute and help kind of fill in that white space a little bit. And I think it does. And I think with that, I'm gonna be done. So let me finish putting this down. I'm gonna punch it. But this time I'm gonna use my Happy Planner Punch uh, because it's there's so many. No, I'm not because I'll tell you why, sorry. Um, these This is the Live Love Posh Paper. And the only difference that it has compared to Happy Planner and the Happy Planner Punch is that the little stems are like a little bit shorter and so I'll use my um, uh, crocodile punch because I can I can um, adjust where it is gonna cut so like see how on um, when I use that as the guide it's not all the way down to the edge because it's it's a little shorter and so it's fine because then I can just kind of adjust it and so it works fine So I think we are finished with our Thanksgiving spread. It turned out so cute. I love it so much. So that's using Fall Icons Volume 2 by Calva Plan. And then for the letters, we used the Plenty Thing Fun Alphabet. And then also for our Black Friday spread, we used Plenty Thing Fun Alphabet. Love, love, love how this turned out. I can't wait to fill it in and go, um, go ahead and check online to see when I can start writing down my sales and the items that I wanna find. So yes, this was Live, Love, Posh, Plenty Thing Fun Alphabet, Live, Love, Posh, Whimsical Fall, and Mojo Jojo Plans Black Boxes. So I hope you like this video and the spreads that I created. Um, Thank you for hanging out with me today. I know it's going to be a longer video. And um, you guys, thank you so much for your support and everything that you uh, do by commenting and, you know, using my links and all those things. I'm so thankful, not just because it's Thanksgiving, but I am thankful for you guys. I enjoy what I do. Thank you again. We'll see you next time. Bye.